Snowflake Dan here again. Today we're going to be going over Git integration with Snowflake. Let's get into it. First thing we're going to want to do is go to the tutorial page and download the repo files. The next thing we'll want to do is head over to GitHub, create a new repository. In this case, we'll call it tutorial. I'm going to select the owner as myself. Then I'm going to make it private, but this doesn't necessarily matter. We'll create the repository. And next, we'll want to add those files to the repository itself. So we'll go to our repo. We'll open up that zip file. We'll copy over those files that are in the folder, not the folder itself, but the files that are in it. And you'll see here we're adding four files. We'll commit those changes. Then we'll head back to the repository. And since we already accomplished the first step, which is Git repository, we'll go to the second step, which is creating a personal access token. We'll head back to GitHub. We'll go to our settings page by clicking the top right and clicking settings. Then we'll hit developer settings. Then we'll add a personal access token. We're gonna add a classic token in this case. So we'll generate that new token. We'll have to provide it a name. In this case, we'll call it Snowflake. Uh, we'll give an expiration date. Uh, it doesn't matter what you select and we'll have to select the repo. Awesome, we have our first token. Next, we'll want to go to the next step. And that next step is Snowflake. And since I don't have a database or a schema or warehouse, I have a completely clean account in this case. Uh, I'm going to copy over first and foremost, that uh, access token, then we're going to copy over the SQL needed to create a database to create a, a schema and then to create a warehouse. So we'll copy that and we'll paste it into our worksheet. Once we have all that in the worksheet, we'll select it all and then hit run. I'm doing this through hitting command and then enter, but you could also do it through the run button at the top right. The next thing we'll wanna do is actually create our integration. So we'll see here, we can copy it we have a series of different uh, ranges, so we could have an example, and then we can also see the result. In this case, I'm gonna copy it straight from the setup itself, and we're gonna walk through each step. The first thing we're gonna need is a GitHub username. Now, the GitHub username you can get from just simply going to your profile. In this case, uh, I have a Snowflake profile. You can see it up here at the top left but this isn't the easiest to copy. So we'll go to our profile and we'll copy it underneath our name. Next, we'll copy that into the worksheet itself and we'll copy our uh, GitHub personal access token into the password section of our secret. The next thing we'll need is a base GitHub URL. We can get this base URL from our profile page by the URL itself. Basically, this allows us to grab any GitHub repository um, that's in our GitHub. The next thing we'll want is to pull over the tutorials URL as well. So we'll go head over to the tutorial uh, repo. We'll copy that URL. We'll paste it into our Git repository called tutorial, and we'll select it all. And again, hit run on all of it. you'll see we have a created repository called tutorial, and we'll be able to reference this tutorial in our next few steps. So the next few steps are actually about using it and we're done with the setup. From here, we'll copy a few commands to be able to navigate around our repository. The first being show Git repository. Now this will be allowed, allow us to see what Git repository we're working with that's called tutorial, like the URL. The next one is show Git branches. If we had multiple Git branches, we can look at them here. The next one is to see what files we have in our Git repository. And then if you have a file that you wanna look at in particular, in this case, the app.py file, you can also do a select statement to see each line that is in that code of the file itself. Awesome. And last and foremost, if we need to pull any updates from the repository, we can do an alter git repository and fetch it to get any updates that'll be there. 
The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show a couple commands we could do with those files that are inside of our GitHub. So we'll go back to the tutorial, we'll copy our execute immediate, which allows us to execute a SQL file from our Git repository inside of Snowflake itself. And here we're gonna run hello.sql. You'll see we've gotten back hello world from SQL query. And if we go back to our GitHub repository, what we'll see if we go to the examples, uh, examples folder, we'll be able to go to the hello SQL file and you'll see that exact same uh, column plus what we selected and what was the result of it. Uh, but we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna create next a stored procedure that allows us to run a command on a call similar to a function in other programming languages. Uh, in this case, we're gonna run the hello pi, so we'll first create it. We'll be able to navigate to it on our left side menu by seeing it, and we can also see the definition of that. So we can reuse this file's function multiple times. In this case, I'm gonna call hello, and if we go back to our Git repository, we'll see that it's got a Python function in there calling hello world. Now let's get on to the final example. This case, we're gonna create a streamlit dashboard from our GitHub repository in Snowflake. In this case, I've run it. We could see it's successful. We can go back to our streamlit dashboards. In this case, I would make sure you uh, check two things. One is the role. Also give it a refresh, you just created that object. We'll click into it and we'll see that, we'll run through the steps and a dashboard has been created. Now, if we go to click edit in the top right, we'll be able to see the code that came from our GitHub repository. And if we switch to GitHub, we'll also be able to see that GitHub repository. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.